Welcome to another thrilling edition of State of Survival. I have with me today our 4185, one of the buzzing artists in Tema. Trust me, huh? He has a new song out there titled Abuasika. Go out there and stream it. The name remains John Claude Tamaklo. I'll be right back after this break. Welcome back from that quick break. Like I said, he is one of the most buzzing artists in Tema right now with a new song called Abuasika. Goes by the name Alpha 185. Welcome, my brother. Thank you very much, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, I'm humbled to be here, bro. I'm very humbled to be here with you, bro. Such a pleasure. You know, on State of Survival, we normally like to um, zoom in on your mindset as to why you are into music. Oh, okay. So, can you kindly tell my cherry audience who you are? and what you do as a, as a person. Anyway, um, I go by the name Alpha 185. Um, I'm a songwriter, I'm a rapper, and I'm Afro, Afro music too. Like, uh. So you went off for 10 years, 10 solid years. <laughs> Tell me, during the time frame between when you stopped and coming back, what was, what were you really thinking? Or what were you doing? Um, thank you very much. For a minute, like um, you know, I didn't just I didn't just choose that path. For a minute, I just had my own struggles and you know, facing like things in life, so, which actually um, took me off that music pattern. But I realized I couldn't do that music. I was always writing music, although I wasn't in it. Like I wasn't hitting the studios. I wasn't. I was always writing music. I was always listening to bars from the from from people I knew and this new art. So I, 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 for me, I just realized, like, bro, you should bounce back and do what you love doing the best. It's a, it's, a, it's a passion. I have passion for it. I have passion for it. So why would I just stop something I, I started? That makes me a loser, right? That's that's that's, that's the reason why I bounced back to, to music again. That's interesting. Are you aware you are being compared to Lord Kenya? Because I listened to Accra FM's interview. You had an interview on Accra FM sure, TV. Sure. Yes. And you are being compared to him that you have his energy, his lyrical bars, you know? Like, how does that make you feel to be compared to a legend like him? Um, how does it make you feel? It, feel, it, feel, it feels um, very good. Like, I was humbled to actually be in a position to be um, compared to Lord Kenya. Growing up, I looked up to Lord Kenya. We used to go to Kasa, um, Adome from Kanyo. I've been in the audience looking at Lord Kenya perform. So to be actually, to be in a position of people actually trying to compare me now. Now Lord Kenya is that big. Yes. I wouldn't, uh, he's a legend. I respect yeah. him, shout out to Lord Kenya. Like, I was, uh, it's a blessing to be compared to Lord Kenya. That means I'm, I'm in the right direction, I'm doing something right. Interesting. Interesting. So let's go back to your EP. How many songs do you have on the EP? Um, I have seven songs on the EP. Do you have any collaborations on the EP? Yeah, I have collaboration. I would like to keep on the low for a minute for now. Okay. I have collaborations on the okay. EP. We all should expect it. Okay. It's a lot became coming okay. soon. How many producers did you use on the EP? Um, I think three. And I'm still working though. Okay. I'm okay. still working. Like I have, I have, I have these seven songs down, but I'm still working. So we, we, we're going back and forth as to selecting which one makes it to the EP. So shout out to Drum Nation, shout out to Webby, shout out to Roses Beat, um, shout out to Posse G. Yo, shout out to everybody helping uh, make to make this um, a success. Shout out to everybody. You seem to have a lot of people who are really in bed with your music and your personality. Let me give a classical example. Salty. I've been on his uh, social media platform. Yeah, in fact, Instagram. He keeps posting your videos. Um, there, there was a time I saw Overwise posting you. I mean, couple of people. I mean, are they your friends? I mean, how does this thing come about? You know, when the music hits you, you have no option than to you know to to respond to it. 
I think um, I made a freestyle um, back 20, 2018. I made a freestyle which somehow went viral. But you got, um, and I think I got their attention. You know, I had this freestyle I was dropping um, every Tuesday, real life bars. Uh, it caught the attention of Chris Bardo, um, Solty, Overwise, Prince Tego. I even had the opportunity to meet Prince Tego, meet Overwise, meet Salty, You know, I think, I think it's just music. I got connected to them through music. Shout out to all of them. Interesting. So tell me, what is the future for Alpha 185? I think the future, the future is promising. The future is bright because um, this is all I want to do. I just want to impact on the next generation, my generation, the next generation, in a very positive light. I'm, I'm an entertainer. Okay. Okay. Being an entertainer, um, you have responsibilities, right? People look up to you. I just want to um, motivate my people, inspire them to do better through entertaining them. Because of your pen game, I would love to ask you this. Who do you listen to when you're not listening to yourself? Who do I listen to when I'm not listening to myself right now? <laughs> wow, this is a hard question for me right now. I listen to like everybody. Trust me, I listen to everybody. I listen to everybody, so I don't really know who to mention. No, I listen to everybody. I can be back now. Locally, internationally, if you go, yeah. Okay, okay. And um, do you have any upcoming projects aside the EP people should look out for? Um, I, I dropped an official single off my EP, Abwasika. It's out on YouTube, Alpha 1 and 5. Go on YouTube, go check it out. Alpha 1 and 5, Abwasika is everywhere. Audio map, YouTube, boom play, yeah, it's everywhere, bro. Okay. If someone is watching you right now, what message do you have to share with a person to actually follow your journey as an artist and give the person reasons why they should join you to advocate for futuristic project through music? Because I'm, I'm, I'm preaching positivity. I'm just being me, preaching positivity, making sure I uh, reach out to them through my music in a positive light so they should follow me, let's do this together. I think that, that's it. Guys, when the talent is good, it is just right to support it. Trust me, he is a, a level-headed entertainer who is here to change the world through music. Tupac said something, he can't change the world, but he can spark the minds that will change the world. And he's a classical example of such people. So please, get onto YouTube right now, Alpha185, Abuasika, stream, comment, share, and tell the world about him. Back to Alpha185. What is your, what, what is, what is, what is, uh, I mean, I don't even want to say right now because I'm highly impressed with your mannerism and how you compose yourself and all that. So forgive me if I'm not speaking right because I'm, I'm highly impressed because, you know, times like this, people are talking about fanciful things and you just stand out of the park and try to do something. Different. That's really remarkable. Mm -hmm. Give me a high five for that. Give me a high five for that. So, how do people reach you out via social media? Um, Alpha 1 in 5 everywhere. Alpha 1 in 5 on Instagram, on Snapchat, everywhere. Alpha 1 in 5. Okay, okay. So that would do it for the day. I'm so grateful to have you on. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks it's such a pleasure. Alpha 1 in 5. Okay. Guys, okay. kindly like, share, and drop comments. It's very important because we need to know our growth. And you are the only one who can show us our growth through your criticism and your I mean compliments. The name remains John Fontana. Number uno. Until then, let's meet some other time. Grr.
Africa, I'm fair for